Uh, well, for those that haven't seen me before, um, I, uh, I've been playing, it was mentioned, Michael mentioned, it was out of my grandfather. I was raised by my grandparents, I lived with them, and from a young age, my granddad influenced me with his kind of music. He was a very musical guy, he loved music, whether it was just to sit and listen to it, or, or indeed play, he played the organ himself. Uh, and um, he came to the Nottingham Organ Society on many occasions, he was a big fan uh, of all different artists and different musicians. Uh, but uh, he, um, he sort of gave me this uh, chance to, to, to make the most of a musical talent. So he paid a lot of money, invested a lot of money and time uh, and effort in getting me lessons. And, uh, and uh, so here I am, still making music. I'm very lucky. I make a, a, a living from uh, making music. And to be able to go out and play uh, and to be able to play for people uh, in public is a wonderful thing to do. So not only do I play the organ, but I also work with a band as well. Uh, in and around Nottingham and also further a spread uh, and uh, I sort of I play keyboards, I play keyboards in the band. I'm not allowed to take the bass into the band, the bass pedals, because we have a bass player and he's in the room tonight as well, so uh, he gets a bit touchy if we talk about my left foot. So anyway, um, yeah, so this is the Verzi Sonic organ. Uh, I work for Verzi, I do demonstrations, I play concerts all over for Verzi. Um, I also have some input into the Sonic. I've been working on it, uh, a few things these last couple of weeks, actually working from home, developing new stuff that's going in the instrument. These instruments are upgraded all the time, so you get new software upgrades with new possibilities. Uh, and it's all free as well, so it's really good to be able to uh, add new things when you've had the organ. I've had this, I think I've been playing this one about seven years now, I think, so it's wonderful. So hopefully you're gonna enjoy some of the sounds I'm gonna play from the Sonic this evening. Um, so uh, the, the, uh, the big thing for me, I've, I've always been attached to Verzi, I've always uh, been a, a big fan of Verzi, and this was down to my grandfather, you mentioned, Michael mentioned the Elka earlier, uh, but so my granddad built a Helios, a Verzi Helios, uh, and it was basically uh, inspired by a German organist by the name of Klaus Wunderlich. Uh, now, my grandfather was a big fan of Klaus, and it was actually Klaus, uh, he heard a Klaus uh, LP, uh, which uh, got him interested in the organ. When he discovered that uh, he was playing the Verzi, uh, he, he set his sights out to get the same organ in hope that one day he would sound like Klaus Wunderlich. Uh, so, um, right, uh, Klaus, I'm gonna do a little bit of a tribute to Klaus next. Um, I got to meet him a couple of times, actually quite a few times when I was younger, uh, a couple of times in Germany and then a, a few more times over here in England. Uh, when he would tour uh, and uh, do his uh, concert tours here. Uh, he was a very uh, a very talented guy, a very strange character, unique, I think we'll call it. Uh, Wunderlich actually means eccentric in German. So he was, if you could think, he was quite eccentric and quite, uh, um, quite an introvert, but uh, an extrovert. His music, however, was second to none. Not only was he a great organist, but he was a great arranger of music, and he really understood how music worked. Worked. And he would do this with his recordings. He had his own recording studio at home where he lived. And he would spend months and months working on new arrangements for albums to sell. He sold millions of albums all over the world. So very successful, possibly the most successful electronic organist uh, ever. Uh, so uh, multi-tracking is something that I've worked on over the years and uh, I've been uh, keen to get uh, more and more involved. Uh, and uh, to, to, to try and uh, copy or emulate Klaus of what he did, uh, but obviously with new instruments. But uh, going back to the old instruments, the Helios was a great organ. It's the organ I learned to play on. I do actually have one now in my house, and I've actually recorded an album on it. Uh, I'll tell you more about that later. But the Helios was a very distinctive sound, sort of great sounds that Klaus made. Uh, and used from that organ um, were very unique. And when you hear that sound, you'll instantly recognize if you're a Klaus von der Linke fan at the sound of the Helios. We've actually sampled some of the Helios sounds and put them into the Sonic now. Uh, so at touch of a button, I can go right back in time and turn the new organ into the old organ and relive all these wonderful sounds. So hope you're gonna enjoy this. This is a, an arrangement of Klaus von der Linke's, um, 
he did actually this particular piece. A lot of organists play it really fast and like to do it as a showpiece, but Klaus didn't do that. He played it slower and made it groovy and made it funky, and uh, it is actually harder to play slower than it is to play fast. But uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this. This is uh, uh, Klaus Wunderlich's arrangement, my arrangement of Klaus Wunderlich's arrangement of Tico Tico. Hope you enjoy a little bit of Wunderlich and Verzi. <laughs> 